So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what glorious failure looks like. These are pots that I've attempted to fire. Actually, this is the very first attempt I've ever made at firing pottery. And they fired to the point that they kind of fused together and they'll no longer dissolve in water. This is no longer the same as river clay. It's fired. But it never got high enough that it was ever really worth anything. So, I mean, I could break it apart like this. It's a little weaker than you'd expect terracotta to be. Interestingly enough, you can see right in here, this black area, this is where the bacteria that are in the clay, because there's dirt, bacteria in all dirt, where those bacteria have not burned out all the way. And so they're still exiting the clay, and that's what, partly why the clay is porous, is you have to let out water that's trapped in the clay, uh, mechanical and chemical water, and you also have to let this bacteria burn away so all the carbon that's in the clay goes away. Although these didn't turn out, I mean, I can't eat off of these, this isn't good cookware, I can still use it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rock, and I am going to smash them into powder. And then that powder will be added into new clay. It's called grog, it's a stabilizing agent because where the clay, it'll shrink as it dries. The clay will also shrink as it's fired. This stuff has already shrunk both times. So it is stable in terms of its dimensions and it will keep the clay from cracking as much. And I'm hoping I can use this to make it crucible. Yeah, because for that you need it to be very temperature stable so it doesn't flex and crack. So, at the bottom of this, I mean, I've got the large pieces on top, and they're mostly holding in the smaller pieces, which are holding in the smaller pieces and keeping my dust from going everywhere. But if I pull this back, you can see right at the bottom, I've got a very fine, dusty powder forming, and that is exactly what I want to add to the new clay. This isn't exactly the daily grind, but probably monthly if you're doing a lot of pottery. So here I've got a pile of really fine powder. Um, funny enough, the word pulverized means to powder something because pulver is an old way of writing powder. And so I have just pulverized this. And here is the resulting powder or polder. This is cool because it represents a way that pottery can be used after the fact. Two other ways that are interesting and worth mentioning are in the production of terra preta, which is a type of anthropogenic soil that is found in Amazonia. So in other words, sections of the rainforest have man-made soil, which is really cool. And they know that because of pottery shards. And another one we will be talking about in a future video, but more of that later. If you want to see that new project that we're eventually going to work on, please hit the subscribe button below, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Thank you.